less symbols per second, standard DBBS2, modulation A, B, and K, audio PID 510, or also good reception condition. So this is Radio Romania 6170 kilohertz. And what you hear is actually FT8 from the 40 meter band. Uh, either 40 meter band or maybe the 5 megahertz band, but uh, one of both. I would I would think it's maybe the uh, the 40 meter band FT8 uh, interfering. So you could see that uh, with a um, the loop antenna. This is the MLA30 is plugged into it. Uh, this Grundig uh, Yacht Boy 300 PE. Uh, because of its single, I would guess it has a single conversion design, uh, has that type of uh, interference due to uh, image. So that interferes a little bit here. And of course, that's compared to the uh, old PL310 ET. And this one being a double conversion receiver does not have that uh, type of interference. So you can see here. So in the next uh, few minutes, what I'll do is I'll we'll compare both radios. So I'll alternate between the uh, Grundig and the uh, the um, PL310 in a kind of a test. So let's start with uh, the Grundig Yacht Boy 300. And both, by the way, both of them are plugged into the MLA30 amplified loop antenna. So Radio Romania 6170 on the MLA30 loop with Yacht Boy 300. Located 
in Tiganesht, BD 3001, near Bucharest, which broadcasts RRI's programs. Radio Com, our broadcasting service provider, has announced that it will take up to several months to replace the broken components. Another shortwave transmitter in Galben, in the northeast of Romania, ID 3001, is being repaired during the month of October upon Radio Com's request. Due to the failure of the two transmitters, a digital broadcasting standard DRM of So both receivers are on the MLA30. Uh, as you see here, they are both connected. And uh, obviously the PL310 from Texan seems to perform better at receiving the signal with the loop than the uh, Yad Boy, which is a little more rough on the edges. But uh, it's interesting to uh, compare these receivers and check it out. And it's fun to uh, bring out the PL310 that I haven't uh, used in a while. And of course, we'll be testing out with all the other radios here, doing different tests like this. Uh, probably throughout the day, the, the rest of the day today, I'm going to kind of have fun with these portable radios and plug them on the loop and see how they perform and everything. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.